Head Country sent us both of their brand new barbecue sauces, so it's time to make the best barbecue burger you've ever had. So we're gonna start with around three fourths of a chimney of lump charcoal in our basket today. And I've been trying to think about how my charcoal grate is set up on my Weber kettle. So if you notice the lines down here are parallel to the handle. And the reason that I'm thinking about that is if I wanna manipulate my charcoal, it's really, really easy to move it back and forth. And trying to move the charcoal around this way makes it really difficult. So it's just little things that I'm just trying to think about every single time I'm cooking. I'm gonna light two B&B &B fire starters, and then I'm just gonna put my chimney right on top. Now, just like with any good burger, of course, we're starting with ground beef. There will be some other elements that we add to this in just a little bit, but I'm making some pretty big patties here. I'm basically taking my two pound block and making it into four different patties, so that makes these around half a pound. I don't know the exact weight on them, but they are pretty large. Now today we're making a barbecue burger, so I do want to add some delicious barbecue flavors. We're going to start with a little bit of Southern Bell. This is going to bring that salt, pepper, garlic, those savory notes to this burger. Hopefully on this one, I can actually get it on the burger and the wind doesn't take it away. Now over top of this, we're going to use version four of one of our new seasonings that we hope to have out pretty soon. If you can't tell, version four, we've been working on it for quite a while. It's been maybe a little bit over a year, I don't know. We've been just trying to get it right. We don't wanna put out any new products if they're not absolutely perfect, but I do wanna show you guys a little bit of what it looks like. We're gonna kinda, well, if I can get it on the actual burger here, it has a nice red color. One of the things that we wanted on this new seasoning was for the black pepper to pop. And you might not necessarily be able to see it on the burger, but you can see it right here on the cutting board. There's a lot of that black pepper and that is something that we really truly wanted. We've been using this in competitions on our brisket, on our ribs, on our chicken, and it's just been giving that beautiful color, that beautiful flavor. And of course we've been pretty successful recently. So this is something that we have to perfect. Now for the backside, we're gonna do the same exact thing. Now you can see that our charcoal is not all the way lit, but that's completely fine with us. This is going to continue to burn in the kettle and it's gonna get a little bit hotter over time. My chimney is completely jacked up. I definitely need to get another one. And I don't know why I haven't. Look at this thing, it looks awful. I'm just gonna spread my coals around a little bit. I am using a two zone fire. So we'll put our cooking grate on. And now you'll notice that we don't have anything in the middle of this gourmet cooking system, and that's because today we're gonna be using our griddle. The cool thing about this system is the griddle is gonna fit right in this little hole here, and this is what we're gonna use to saute some onions and jalapenos in just a little bit. Now, in order to cook my burgers, I'm gonna start them indirect, so I'm gonna use my raised rack. I just really like using this thing, especially for indirect cooks. I feel like it gets it a little bit further away from the charcoal. I get a nice charcoal flavor, and of course, it still cooks in a great time. I'm gonna close my vents down a little bit. I don't wanna get this too out of control, but I do want it pretty hot. Now I'll put my lid on and my top vent, I'll close it around halfway. It's been around five minutes since we got our kettle to our target temperature, around 425 degrees for these burgers. And we also are gonna smoke some sausage indirect. Because this is a barbecue burger, we're trying to get a lot of barbecue flavors in there just to make sure everything turns out delicious. We're gonna place all of our burgers indirect. as well as a couple of pieces of that cheddar jalapeno sausage. We're gonna put the lid on with the vents right over the burgers. Just let these cook. After around 15 minutes of cooking our burgers indirect, we wanna take a look. We still have to add some cheese if they're about done, and we still have to saute up our vegetables. We have a little bit of a surprise for our other barbecue aspect that we'll show you just in a little bit. Yeah, the burgers are looking absolutely incredible. I do wanna take a little bit of a temp here just to see where we're at. 127, 131. Yeah, it looks like these two are a little bit bigger. So these are around 126. We're sitting around 130 there and 129, 130 here as well. So these are all cooking around the same temperature. They're going to come up together. My dog's in the background. He's been fighting with the other dogs all day today. But what we're going to do now is since these are getting closer, I'm going to start sauteing off my vegetables. I do have enough coals right here where I know that this section, I can feel it. I know that this section's really hot. We can spray some oil and get those veggies sauteed. I'm just gonna hit our griddle with a little bit of oil here. 
I'm gonna start putting down some jalapenos. You guys can hear that sizzle here. And I'm gonna put down a little bit of white onion. So I don't need these to hurry up or anything. We can take a few minutes with these grilled jalapenos. I'm gonna toss them around a little bit right now. While we're at it, we'll add a little bit of seasoning to these jalapenos and onions. And if you guys can't tell, on the actual onion there, you can see, like I was telling you guys earlier, that pepper pops through. And that's exactly what I want on that new seasoning. Since my burgers are still cooking, I'm going to go ahead and put the lid back on when they're a little bit closer to around 135, 138 degrees. We are going to start basing our burgers with a little bit of that raspberry chipotle barbecue sauce. The burgers are sitting right around 135 degrees, so we're going to start glazing them with our raspberry chipotle head country barbecue sauce. Thanks again for them sending this to us to try out. I'm extremely excited. We did taste it on our finger just a second ago. And of course, Head Country always puts out absolutely delicious barbecue sauces. The vegetables, by the way, are looking incredible. Just a few more minutes on these and they're gonna be exactly where I want them for this burger. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the top of this with a little bit of that raspberry chipotle. You guys can see it's pretty thin and that's actually kind of one of the things that I really like about most of Head Country's sauces. They're really thin and easy to put on top of anything. And already I know that this is gonna be super duper delicious. So let's just get it on top. We'll let this glaze set. We'll flip it over, get a little bit on the other side. And then of course, it's time to build our burger. Gonna get another little stir on our veggies and you can see that the sauce is sitting really nice on our burger here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and flip it over. Woo! That was kind of scary, I don't know why. <laughs> uh, my weenie got it back on top baby we'll go ahead and put some more raspberry chipotle on the back side here i know these are going to be good i already know these are going to be so good and we're going to let this set for around five minutes or so then it's time to add the cheese let it melt and build this burger just a few minutes later, we're gonna go ahead and add our cheese to the top of our burgers. Today, we're using Chipotle smoked Gouda. It just looked really good at the store and I really wanted to try it. I'm only putting it on two. You can see that I'm not messing with the other two. These are gonna be for the kiddos. They're back there playing. All right, the veggies have been on long enough. They look really good. They look nice and sauteed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get these out here and scoop them into a little silver bowl. Now we'll go ahead and get some buns down. Let these go for a few minutes. You can see the cheese is almost there. I do want it a little bit more melted before we start building. Just a few minutes later, the cheese is looking perfect. Our buns are looking absolutely outrageous. And now this is the best barbecue burger that you've ever had. Head Country's brand new raspberry chipotle barbecue sauce, sauteed veggies right on top, a delicious smoked burger with chipotle gouda smoked cheese topped with pulled pork, jalapeno cheddar sausage, and of course, that sweet mustard sauce by Head Country. All there is left to do is take a bite. This is maybe, this is the best burger I've ever had in my entire life. Hands down, without a doubt, so much flavor. The raspberry chipotle brings that sweetness and a little bit of heat. Of course, I get a little bit of heat from those grilled jalapenos. The jalapeno cheddar sausage also brings a tiny bit of that heat, but you get so much sweet from that sweet mustard. That cheese is delicious. That burger is cooked perfectly. This is easily, I know I just said it, but easily 
the best burger that I've ever made. I had to redeem myself after getting my ass kicked last week by my wife in a steak competition, as always. Still salty. We appreciate you guys tuning into this video. Thanks, and we'll see you on the next one.